New information tonight about a devastating fire in downtown Los Angeles that injured nearly a dozen firefighters. Crews were responding to a fire inside a building yesterday when suddenly there was an explosion. Four firefighters have now been released from the hospital, but two remain in critical but stable condition there. News 8's Kelly Hestall has more on that fire and some newly released audio of the chaos. Well, the fire broke out in a building that houses a hash oil manufacturer. We should warn you, some may find the audio just released disturbing. Engine 9, Engine 9, go with your mayday. Explosion. I have two down firefighters in front of truck 9. Flames tore through a building on East Boyd Street in downtown Los Angeles Saturday. And while firefighters were searching for the source of the fire inside, an explosion erupted so powerful it shook the neighborhood. Crews ran for their lives when a ball of fire shot out of the building and scorched a fire truck across the street. We have eight firefighters injured on the sidewalk. Cross from truck nine, we're working on a park car. Copy that. 11 firefighters were injured in the explosion. A 12th was treated for a minor injury overnight. Captain Eric Scott of the L.A. Fire Department says two remain in critical but stable condition. They were placed on ventilators. Well, they still remain critical. Those were significant injuries. As you could imagine, um, just at these fires, the smoke that you can inhale, imagine walking through a literal blowtorch. He describes their other injuries. It is some critical burns that these firefighters went through. Their turnouts had holes from burns in them, the melted helmets to some extent. The incident happened at a building that houses a maker of butane honey oil. Inside, yes, there is evidence of butane canisters along with CO2 cartridges. During that explosion, you could see that those were thrown a couple blocks radius. And fortunately, all of the injured firefighters are expected to survive. Now, several agencies were on scene today to investigate. Uh, they examined burn patterns, talked to witnesses to try and determine a cause. Back to you. Kelly, thanks.